how do diagnostics, especially EMG testing, how do they change the role of the physical therapist in patient care? Well, let me first say by uh, start by saying thank you um, for all that you and the HODS organization does for promoting physical therapy and advancing our profession and trying to hold it to a higher standard. So I know you guys are dedicated and thank you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. As far as the role of physical therapists and kind of the, the, the value of uh, physical therapy, I think that uh, electrodiagnostics is like harmonious with physical therapy. You know, we see patients every single day that have numbness and tingling, uh, weakness, and those patients then in turn uh, need a study to specifically diagnose where that origin is. So the two of them are very harmonious together overall. When I think about uh, the, the value um, overall of diagnostics in our practice, I can't help but think of a story that uh, literally happened to me uh, this past month. So uh, us as physical therapists have this ability to, uh, through our training in PT school, to do a physical exam on a patient, uh, get a diagnosis, and we're, pr we're pretty good at that. And as time goes on, we progress, pr uh, progress our profession, we get better at that, right? So we have that piece of the puzzle. And diagnostics then adds this neuromuscular component of diagnosis to it. Uh, so we have that piece added. And now we add musculoskeletal ultrasound and we're very, very good at diagnosing where the origin of pain is. So it allows us as physical therapists to be really specific as far as being the diagnostic profession of choice. I always try to think when I make decisions for our practice about the mission. And the mission has always been to be a primary care clinic. You know, from day one, it was, you know, people are going to come here first. But to do that, we have to be really good at, you know, diagnosing their injuries. Because when we talk about, you talked about outcomes, right? If someone has, you know, numbness and tingling in their feet and we start working on their spine, doing manual therapy, and the patient has a polyneuropathy, our outcome is you know, not going to be quite as good. So differentially diagnosing it is, is a huge issue. My point being is when, when we talk about the value of diagnostics overall, I had a patient I saw a month ago, 30-year-old male comes in, numbness, progressing numbness and tingling, uppers and lowers progressive weakness. So I do the EMG study and uh, he has like clearly a global demyelinating problem. I call the physician and I talk to this physician about the results of the exam and what my thoughts were overall. Now this physician, we've always had problems with getting our plan of care assigned, getting anything back on time. She's a hospital-based family practice physician that doesn't refer patients to us. But I call her and I, I talk to her about this case. I see a patient this past Tuesday that comes in with a script for an EMG from her. And the patient walks into the eval room and says, hey, um, this physician told me that regardless of what happens with this EMG, she wants me to have physical therapy at this practice because you guys are excellent. And I was like, what the heck? How does that happen? So... I don't know how you put value on that. Like, I, how do you value your reputation? Those are the types of things that I think changes us as a physical therapist to a higher level. Diagnostics allows us to practice at a much higher level than physical therapy alone. 